Hey guys, I'm back for another video, and today I'm here to showcase my very own Spigot plugin, Uber Items. Uber Items is a framework that allows you to add powerful and fun items to your Spigot server with very limited coding experience. Now, to demonstrate how it works, let's make the very first Uber item, which is the Uber Workbench, which you get by breaking a crafting table with a lever. As you can see, the Uber Workbench is a more powerful crafting table which opens the uber items crafting menu like this in order to see all of the uber items in the game you can click on the recipe guide and it'll show everything that you have loaded in the base plugin as well as any add-on plugins that you might have installed what can these uber items do exactly what makes them so special well if i head into creative mode here you might notice that since i'm an admin and in creative mode i can shift click items out of the crafting table there and for example the grappling hook might be familiar to a lot of the high pixel skyblock players out there you throw the rod out and you cast it and it launches you in that direction and as you can see it has a two second cooldown another example of an uber item is the aspect of the end which is yet another high pixel skyblock inspired item with the special ability that allows you to teleport in front of you on right click and it gives you additional speed. So these two items were added with what's called an add-on plugin. Now, the cool thing about Uber items is, again, it's a framework, which means that you can basically add your own items with very little effort. These items can have special things happen when you right-click on the air, for example, with the crafting bench, right-click on a block. For example, the cheat code item on left-click, it's able to toggle your game mode. <laughs> The boomstick demonstrates that you can also have special actions happen when you left click on a mob. I just sent him into another dimension. Some Uber items have special properties. For example, the hacker man. This one demonstrates that you can have upgrades for Uber items. So if I right click, the ability allows me to scaffold, AKA run on air by placing blocks underneath myself and the blocks disappear shortly after they've been placed. Now, to demonstrate how upgrades work, what I can do is actually click on the hacker man with an enchanted stone. And as you can see, that adds the compacted upgrade, which now makes it heavier. AKA, instead of placing stone underneath you, it places iron blocks. And then to further demonstrate the ability to add upgrades, you can take an enchanted diamond and now it makes it more expensive, which places gold underneath. Every single Uber item has a crafting recipe. So if I were to click on the grappling hook, for example, it's crafted with three sticks and two enchanted string. And each enchanted string is crafted with 16 string in each slot. In addition to Uber items, there's actually Uber materials, which are classified differently. They have a lot less features than Uber items, but they're a lot quicker to make and easier to understand. So there you go. Enchanted diamond is 160 diamond. You have an enchanted stone, which is crafted with 160 enchanted cobblestone, each of which is crafted with 160 regular cobblestone. The framework also allows you to store inventories inside of items. For example, the shooty box is a handheld dispenser that will shoot anything you put in it. So for example, if I were to grab, I don't know, some TNT, I can shift right click and there you go. Now there's TNT inside of the shooty box and I could reclaim it at any time. And I've set it up so that it shoots the TNT. Some of these items can do pretty complicated tasks. For example, the plumber sponge removes all water in a lake. There's also a system in the plugin that allows you to substitute Uber materials in place of regular items. So you might know that vanilla Minecraft, it's pretty annoying to get a stack of feathers, you know, without a chicken farm at least. So what you can do is in a vanilla crafting table, you can use this paper fletching to make arrows and paper fletching is made with two paper. Now, of course, this is toggleable. If you don't want the game to be too easy, you can actually make it so Uber materials can't be used in place of vanilla ones, but that option is still there. Items can store custom properties inside of them. For example, a location and they're stackable. I'm demonstrating both here with the escape rope. Anyone who's played Pokemon will know what this does. 
basically an escape rope will teleport you to the last point where you saw the sun so imagine this is a deep cave i got lost i don't know how to get out and there you go i've teleported to the last location where i saw the sky and it took one out of my stack of 64 escape ropes items can also have what are called active effects so combining the special properties feature i can shift right click to enable the force field ability of the electromagnet which has an active effect that repels mobs and arrows so that i am safe even in the dark of night <laughs> and it launches them in the air sometimes if they get too close all the while with these items all the abilities the rarities the text everything is automatically handled text is wrapped if that makes sense so all the item descriptions you don't need to manually add a new line character it'll just fit in the item lore honestly i have been working on this plugin for i would say two years now on and off but mostly the past six months i've been putting i would say hundreds of hours into coding this framework so it's very it's fully featured you can pretty much make whatever you want with this plugin because it's so open-ended that you if you need to add a feature that's not there then you can just code it and hook an item to it without any complications so anyways you've seen enough of what these items can do now i think it's time to make one on camera so that you guys have a good example of how to do it now i should probably add i have the java docs linked in the description of this video and on the spigot page <laughs> So if you did want to see every available function for you, if you were making your own custom items, uh, what you could do. But anyways, let's get to the demonstration and make ourselves a custom item. So if you want to make your own items, first you have to stop by my GitHub and clone the repository to your uh, home PC setup. I would highly suggest IntelliJ IDEA. And once you've downloaded the add-ons template GitHub repository, what you're going to need to do is get a jar for the latest spigot and then get yourselves an uber items jar from the spigot page add them both as libraries uh when you do download the repository then these are going to be using my directories which obviously won't work for you so make sure you import the correct libraries and then of course you want to change the output directory in the artifacts section to include whichever test server you're on but anyways, once you have the plugin downloaded, you're going to notice there's a big tutorial here, just a wall of text, but I'll just show you what I mean here. So let's add an example Uber item. As you can see, the two examples are already here, but let's make a new one. So Uber items dot put item, and then we give it a name. I'm going to call this item the Midas statue, since this is the in-house plugin name we're going to want to use underscores uh, and then we can do new and then we need to add a class so the way this plugin works is every uber item gets its own class file so in the item section we're going to want to do new java class i'm going to call it midas underscore statue and then to make things easy you could just copy the example item class here or empty item empty item is literally just an empty uber items class which will make this nice and easy copy paste and then we can change instead of empty might empty item it's midas underscore statue and then what we could do is make a new midas statue material dot let's make it a totem of undying since it's you know a little statue you can hold in your hand and then we have the name that the players would see so capital letters using spaces instead of underscores might a statue uber rarity dot and then there's uh one two three four five six seven eight rarities you can pick from i'm gonna make this one legendary which is gold which i guess goes with the whole midas theme and just to save on space i'm going to go to the next line here is this item stackable false you don't want to have multiple midas statues at once that doesn't make sense one time use also false it's going to be an item that you can use forever uh let's see does it have an active effect yes because i have some things planned that are going to be fairly interesting with an active effect arrays dot as list is the next argument here this is the abilities for the item 
Okay, so we've specified our abilities now. Uh, this would be ability two, technically. And instead of a right-click ability, it could be ability type dot none. We'll, we'll show that off later. Anyway, so now that we have our uh, abilities there, new Uber crafting recipe, shapeless crafting, false. That feature is actually not in the plugin yet, but I'll take care of that in like a month. Craft amount, one. You get one when you craft it. So finally, if we did all this correctly, we shouldn't get any errors. There you go. The Midas statue is now in the game. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't have a crafting recipe. But if we want to see it work, um, also, I should probably change the Uber rarity to unfinished since it's not finished yet. Build project. Okay, so I have Plugman installed. Would highly recommend this plugin. Plugman reload, and then we can do Uber items. And since this add-ons plugin is what's actually providing the item, we are gonna have to also reload the add-on. So there you go. If we check up in our Uber workbench now, we should see the Midas statue. There it is. It's unfinished and it has ability one and ability two. As you can see, ability one has right click, ability two has nothing. And the item doesn't do anything. So let's actually add the features to this game but we have the item it's right here <laughs> just based on that little bit of code we did so we want to add a crafting recipe first of all i think we're going to make it really simple for now let's make the bottom slot i don't know gold block and then we can have the slot above it be another gold block but let's make it a little bit more expensive than that for the top item so what i'm thinking we do is we go here so this right here is how you get uber materials so the way the crafting recipes work is basically you just put in whatever item stacks you want and if the uh materials put into the crafting grid match this then it will craft the items it doesn't really make a lot of sense but that's fine okay so now technically the item has a crafting recipe next let's name the ability i'm gonna name the first one midas step Toggle. Every block you step on turns into gold while holding this item. I should probably specify this area is only cosmetic. The actual functionality of the abilities is determined in the code in the actual class file for the item, but this is what the players are seeing, so you really want this to look nice. Anyways, the second ability, turn any mobs into gold. And we'll figure that out later how that worked let's reload uber items reload uber items add-on and then there's actually a nice command here that's pretty convenient we could do slash uber update lore and there you go we've updated the lore so this is what the item would look like of course without the big red text at the top once we fix the rarity and as you can see it automatically wraps the text which is nice uh, but now we need to actually make it work so let's do that so now we're in the Midas statue.java file. Now, what we're going to want to do is first of all, make a toggle that would work with the Midas step ability. So in order to do that, we want to go to right click air action because you toggle it by right clicking on air, right? So then what we could do is utilities.store int in item. And then the host would be item, of course. The integer would be one, I guess. And then the key would be the name of this property. Let's just call it ability one. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. It's in the background anyways. So that's how you store an integer in an item. This does it without item lore. The player can't see it. It's quite nice, actually. But before we do that, what we need is if utilities.getInt from item. And there you go. It's a simple toggle. If the ability one is equal to zero, set it to one. If it's equal to one, set it to zero. So basically returning true in any of these methods means that you successfully um, use the ability here. So there you go. I've successfully toggled the ability. Now, how is that helpful? Well, if I go to active effects, this is a function that's called like once every five ticks plugin wide. So if you have anything in here, it's gonna be executed every five ticks. So what we can do, is copy this if statement if utilities get in from item ability one equals one so if the ability is toggled on if all of this code works correctly then you should be able to toggle an ability 
and then when the ability is toggled it should place gold at your feet so let's see one last detail there needs to be a visual indicator so there you go <laughs> so that was a little complicated this is important i forgot this line of code i think i accidentally got rid of this line of code big stupid there we go let's set that <laughs> there there we go so after some minor bug fixing when you right click you place blocks at your feet the item becomes enchanted right click again the enchantment goes away doesn't place any more blocks so there you go you can also change the lore depending on these things uh if you were to for example if you wanted you can have in the lore it would say that the item is toggled if you want to learn how all of this works you should really look at the example uber item class which basically uses all of these functions like it says lore.add this is how you add prefixes suffixes it has an example of left clicking the air it has an example of if you want to left click on a block but also register it as the same thing as left clicking air just return what left click air does um right clicking on air action to toggle an ability a break blocks action you can actually do uh you can repair the item every time it breaks a block you can click in the inventory action you can have it so you can add your uh abilities or your upgrades i should say or in this case add an enchantment to any item that you click on the example item so finally as the last example in this video what i'm going to do is we're going to head over to the hit entity action class because remember that second ability i said that i can turn mobs into gold there you go so every time you hit a mob what it should do is turn them into a gold block you can also play sounds if you wanted but just for an example i'm just going to leave it as is a squid <laughs> the squid's gone and he's been replaced with a gold block beautiful now i don't know what happens to players when you do that <laughs> that's quite fun anyways i think that was an adequate demonstration of how to use uber items and the api of course if you are curious as to all the possibilities for what you can do with the plugin you should look at the examples um in the github repository itself if you have any questions make sure to leave them in the comments and if you make an add-on plugin and want me to show it off on the main uber items plugin page make sure to drop me a message in the spigot replies <laughs> man it's funny how simple that ability is it just <laughs> you punch a mob and it turns to gold beautiful and i guess to signify that the item's done we can set the rarity to legendary let's do that real quick i think when you change the rarity you need to get a new item so there you go the updated midas statue is now legendary with the midas step ability toggled with the right click and then of course you can punch mobs to turn them into gold well anyways i guess that's it for the uber items demonstration video this is going to be interesting to edit and i should probably mention if you were to purchase the premium version of the plugin you will not have any restrictions but the light does have two restrictions and it's that you can only add 10 external items at a time with add-on plugins and you can only use items that are rarities common to rare so epic and legendary are reserved for the paid version please consider supporting this project it took me months to develop this and to make it as simple as it is so it would help me out a lot if you were to purchase the premium version of the plugin well anyways i guess that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys later